Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This is part 4 of Armadale Line Shutdown new bus routes and there's just a few more things we have to touch up on. We've already ridden all the new routes but the routes 37 and 25, you can see here, what is this? This is Albany Highway. Yes, and 37 and 25 now go on Albany Highway and this is their new terminus instead of Oak Street Station which is so ridiculous. What is this bus stop? How can you call this the terminus? What the hell? This. There's literally like a gate here. There's not even a shelter. The other side of the road is actually really good. I don't know why they don't terminate on that side. Look on that side. There's such a good shelter. It's like a, such a unique shelter and literally only for route 220 and 656 whenever it operates, which is so trashy. Let's take a look here. There's this massive park here. I rarely ever go here in Albany Highway, but here's the bus stop. 220 like an hourly service almost and has this amazing bus stop with some heritage signs and large shelter. This could be a terminus, yes. But on the other side, it's so trashy, yet they terminate there. So 37 and 25 now continue down Old Street, which is right there, that intersection is Old Street, past the station and then do a loop to get down to Albany Highway here. Terminating there, although most of the 37s immediately continue on another trip back towards the airport so it basically it's just become like a circular route and this is just where it switches Destos over here but still and 285 obviously only runs one direction so this is the terminus for it and the starting stop so if we take a look at the timetable here both those routes are weekdays exclusive anyway so we have 285 in the morning then 220s and 37s throughout the day, as you can see. And then we have only 220s on weekends. Which, yeah, no, actually, that's the same. Same amount of services Saturday and Sunday, just like slightly different times. So right now it's 3.35. There's gonna be a 37 coming in in two minutes, 3.40, and we're gonna see it loop around. So, Let's just, yeah, just a few minutes. Let's just head down here. Oops, sorry. All right, here we go. So this is Somerset Street, which is a really random road here. Just a small suburban street linking Shepparton Road just up there and Albany Highway over here. And, oh, there's a bus turning in right now, 1400. But this is where the 37 and 285 now come this in this direction, actually, towards Albany Highway. That's probably not in service, yeah, to loop around which no other bus route went down here before, so it's very weird now, having buses looping down here. So that's 1400 over there, not in service. What? What is he doing? What the hell? This guy doing a U-turn in the middle of the road. Bruh, what is this? <laughs> Mate, this is not my, oh, is this guy about to do the 37 actually? And he just realized he has to U-turn somewhere. Oh my gosh. What the hell is this? Skull, skull, skull. Yeah, it's all fine. It's fine, yeah. Just go. It's, it's all good, yeah. I go inside the road? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. What the hell? What is going on here? Stop! Thank you. It's the poles are behind you now. Oh, so. thank you. I didn't yeah. need it? No, no, it's fine. Okay, thank you. And, yeah. It's you. goes. That was the weirdest encounter. That was so random bro. And then we have the 37 right here. So it just came down 2381. 2381 here. Bro why did that driver U-turn in the middle of the road? That was so stupid. Anyway, here's the terminus and come
coming into Albany Highway, stopping right there. All right, so that driver was just confused. He did the 795 from Kent Street before, and then somehow managed to get himself in the wrong direction on that road. Even though Albany High, I mean, Shepherdon Road is like right there. He could have just gone round, like how the 37 goes, and keep going there. Well, 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 why did he have to do that? That's last one. Anyway, now I missed that 37. Next one's at 406, but we're just, we're just gonna walk the 37 route now. At least he saw the terminus. So we're gonna go around the corner. I'm just gonna speed this up, and then we're gonna see the whole route. Let's go. I mean, the new section of the route. Yeah. Here's the second stop, also an interchange with Circle Route. And then right here we have Shepperton Road now. And then you just continue up Old Street where I walked last time to get to the station. You can just go to that video to see the rest of the walk. But here's now where the main new bus lane is. 1.2 kilometers all the way down. So we're going to take some shots along this bus lane. And the new traffic light technology with Bluetooth capabilities to connect to the bus and make it green, which only sometimes works. <laughs> like, I haven't always seen it go green. I think it only happens when the bus is late, so that's why. Anyway, here's 908. No one uses 908, there's like two people. It's so pointless. Oh, if, if they make 907 go to Victoria Park, so many more people would be using the train, but no. And these are the Oat Street stops right here. Shepparton Road Oat Street, which you've seen in several videos. And you can see the whole bus lane down there. This side, the bus lane acts as the embankment for the station. But on the other side, there's no embankment, which is so bad. And you can see 221 right now, all the cars stuck behind it. But look at that traffic. <laughs> so bad. This side is all good because of the bus lane. That side, they didn't put a bus lane and it's absolutely terrible. Once, like a few days ago, I took the 908 from Victoria Park to Oat Street. It took 18 minutes. Like, what? And the train took two. So, yeah. Nine oh seven, sixteen forty-eight. to the traffic light right now. Again, not working, but probably because it's early. Yeah, so this bus lane stretches all the way from just before the... Albany Highway and Shepparton Road intersection, which is a really busy one. All the way along here, past uh, Oat Street, and then about 600, 500 more meters down past Oat Street, and past the Oat Street bus stop. And this is the only new bus lane they built, but it's really effective, especially in peak hours. This is one of the busiest sections, so I'm, I'm really glad they built this, especially with the traffic light technology. And then, they also did a new right turn lane from Welshpool Road. Yeah, sorry, the intersection over there is Albany Highway, Shepparton Road and Welshpool Road all together. They made a new right turn lane from there, which we'll also go take a look at right now. And over there, 9.30 to Thornley. So again, you can see all these sensors and cameras looking out for what's going on with the traffic as well yeah anyway let's do the bus spotting now here comes 907 again or 908 but i don't think an arctic would be a 908 907 31 39 
and here we are this is the intersection I was talking about and you can see the bus lane starts just after it or before it I should say Albany Highway here straight through Victoria Park Town Center only the 220 goes down there and then we have Shepparton Road right here 930 coming through Twenty-eight, twenty-three. Obviously, the main thorny line replacement. Two, two, one, thirty-one, thirty-five. Now, what I also wanted to say, I, in part three, I was trying to get a shot of the nine thirty saying continues as two ten to eleven to twelve, but we didn't. But now we're gonna get some definitely because nine thirty is like every four minutes, so we can see the new thing they've done. Another two two one. Thirty one fourteen, they're using all the new B8 Arctics. Like the actual new ones, mostly. And we have a two thirty to Thorny. Twenty four sixteen refurbished. See how full that is? That's how full 230 gets. And 221 again, 3142. These are the most typical buses to be on 221. 314X buses. Followed by not in service right behind it. Oh, green light to cross. 220 coming up from Albany Highway, 1435. That's stupid. Using that as train replacement is the dumbest idea. Just take 221. Unless you live between the stops, of course. And here goes the 230 now. Thirty-one, forty-two, and 2891. Nice. Okay, so here now I wanted to show you the extra right turn lane they built. They made this road, Washful Road, Washful Station is just up there. They made this road really weird now because there's three lanes in, in one direction towards the traffic light, one lane in the other direction, and there's no median between them. So I, I don't think there's any other place in Perth with a three by one asymmetrical road without a median. This is ridiculous, or even with a median but without even worse. So it's really weird, you can see here, literally the solid lane, one lane, and then three on the other side. So the most left one there is for cars going left and straight, then the middle one is the new bus only right turn lane, and the most right one is the car right turn lane. Now, uh, the main, so that's one other change they did. And finally, they made so many restrictions to right turns on Shepparton Road for cars, like 10 restriction points, so that the cars don't actually block traffic, especially buses, trying to turn right. Yep, so there they go. You can see the middle lane is empty, which is a bit, bit weird, because that's only for 907 and 908, and 282, 283, if I'm not mistaken, maybe not. No, because I think they go to Old Street, so actually no. Okay. Anyway. We've got a few more clips down here. Yeah, because you can see the hard, solid median they put right in between of the road. No more lines, so no cars can actually, I mean, unless they want to damage their car a bit, but they can't really cross it. Okay, 907 coming down, still using gas buses, two weeks into the shutdown, but oh well. 1441. No, sorry, 1641. 
and another 220 over there in the distance turning left 1438 okay here's a 908 now coming down Twenty one fifty two. This was an excellent Gara bus. Now it's down here. Oh wow, that's actually the fullest nine hundred eight I've seen so far. The funny thing is, there's actually a bus stop in the middle here, but that's only for nine thirty. All other routes skip it. In the other direction, there isn't one here though. Yep, so here's a 930 right now. Unfortunately, this is one that doesn't continue as anything. 2171. Another NIST bus on the other side. Where are they all coming from? 2789. I think that's a Kalamunda B8. One of the few that they have. And 1437 there, 907. Okay, now here's 930. Continues as route 212, 2609, if you can see that. You, pretty poorly, but you probably saw a little bit. I love the new desktop. I wish every bus which continues as something had it on the desktop. There's so many routes which do that and they don't. Which is pretty unfortunate. All right, we got a future bus coming up, not in service again. Where are they coming from? Are they like finishing, no. No, I actually don't know where they're coming from. 1670. Just a depot, I guess, going to the peak hour routes. And 221B7, refurbished 307. 1670.
More buses coming from the bus lane, 908 2417 refurbished. Sixteen eighty eight Nice, twenty one seventy nine oh seven. And twenty one ninety four Nice. Which that's the last twenty one bus with flat back seats. Another Nice bus in the bus lane, twenty one seventy six. So many twenty ones. 1431 Nice 26.07 9.30 There's a good shot of the bus in the middle lane. It's so weird to have a bus lane in the middle. It's usually on the left or right, not the middle. And here we can see the start of the bus lane just before the intersection. Which for the first section doubles as the slip lane to turn left, but then this bit is bus only. There's an ambulance now, let's see what it'll do. Straight in front of the cars. Illegal right turn, but it's an ambulance obviously. Another 21, 2172 and the 907 over there turning left. Guys, trying to turn left from the rightmost lane. What the hell? There goes that Nis nice bus now. And there's actually another one, a 907 behind it. Why is it standing in the middle of the road when it's got its own lane? What? Oh, now it's coming down. Another 21, 2168. And another one, Nice. That's a B8 though. Thirty-three ninety-three. Another a new B8 Arctic on the other side doing two two one. Pretty typical thirty-one thirty-three. Another person who turned right from the left lane. What the hell? And another NIST bus coming. Oh, and the next 230 is already here. 21, I'm guessing. Or 24, actually. 24, 97. Oh, and look, another 221 B8 Arctic. That's 220 passengers, which could have been moved on a 221. 31, 34, the next consecutive number. See how ridiculous that is, and it's only in that pool. Without a cut, that was like one minute. I can still see the one in front. So crazy. Let's watch these buses turn. Twenty-four sixty-two here.
right at the start of the bus lane. 16 is. And oh wow, here's actually a non LED Arctic in 221. This is actually really rare. 3078, that was an external bus. Why you have the right indicator on? Thirty-three sixty-eight, nine zero seven, and Nice twenty-three thirty-five, and then here twenty-eight eighty-nine, recently transferred bus nine zero seven, twenty-four eleven two thirty, and thirty-one twenty-six two two one, followed by thirty fifty-five two two one, and you can just see how bad the traffic is here because the old street stop right here with no embankment. I already said this in part three, absolutely terrible really should have done something here. Look at all this extra wasted space they could have made into a bus lane where the red bricks are. Literally right here. Terrible. But yeah, we're gonna end this video here now. We've got lots of clips along the whole road. Uh, let's just go take a look at the site of Old Street now. But yeah, we've seen the 37 as well. The new terminus where it is. I'm also gonna just quickly include clips of 31 and 30 on Milligan Street in Perth to finish the video, but that's basically it. Two more 907 gas buses in a row. What the hell? 1430 and 1636. Are you kidding me? Gas bus on 282. That's terrible. Imagine up in the hills with with gas bus. 1393. Trying to get up those hills. Damn. And followed by a 22285, which is the route from the Qdale Industrial Area, which I filmed just like a month ago, with the new Desto, East Vic Park, Albany Highway. Here you can see it now. 2755. Thought it would be a gas bus. It should be a gas bus on this, and then that should be on on that, but no. Why why isn't that guy going? Well why isn't that guy going? Go bro. 
Yeah, oh my god, empty. No one goes to the new terminus. And here we are at Oat Street, obliterated, gone. Look at that, there's like almost no remains, it's just sand in the hills and the bus interchange road. Oh my gosh. I know, like it's unbelievable to think of that now. That the train was right here. I guess there's not much more I can film, it's just gone. Same at Carlisle, apparently, but I'm not walking all the way up now. But we're gonna go past Welshpool and Oat Street so we can see those. No, 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 Queen's Park. So we can see what's going on there now. And then a gas bus 907 obviously. <laughs> Passing Welshpool now, all the tracks are gone. Cars are parked on the rail reserve. And we're going fast. Oh my gosh, just sand again. I just missed the demolition of this one by 10 minutes. And now here, never to be seen again. Oh well. And over to Queen's Park. Anyway, um, Hamilton Street crossing here, removed. And again, flat over to Queen's Park. No, like, I mean, just completely flattened out all the sand. Not like a Welsh pool where they just put hills there. I don't even know exactly where it was here. Oh yeah, here where all the sand is. Where does this come from? Is this like under the platform? Or what? I don't get where all this sand comes from. How did they make a tower like that? Anyway, we did watch the demolition of this one. Ah, oh, there's there, there there was oh no, here was the here was the platform, that was the crossing, that's the train replacement bus of which it skipped even though I pressed the bell, good. Some drivers don't know and they just stop. Um, yeah. Where did the platform, where's the crossing for the other one? Here? Was it here? The pedestrian maze? Oh, the pedestrian Yeah. Oh, we already it. And then that's Wharf Street crossing right there. Okay, that's it. Okay, so we've come here into Mill Street now. It's actually the next day, Saturday the 2nd of December, at like midday almost. And I just want to quickly show you the new 3031 path. So it's been rerouted, no longer travels along William Street like the 34 does between Perth Passport and Elizabeth Quay, one of the few routes to go to both bus stations. And now they both go up Milligan Street where the 910 goes, including a new stop in the middle of Milligan Street, which actually didn't exist there for the 910 even, for just like one or two months prior to this change. 910 was expressed from St. George's Terrace to Perth Passport. Then they added a stop in the middle there. And they made them stop here at the Mill Street cat bus stop, which is also really weird because I think the 910 also didn't stop here. Or maybe it did, but that means they now have two stops in between Elizabeth Key and Perth bus work, and instead of one. Now this change obviously means that they don't have to loop around Elizabeth Key bus station anymore when exiting. They can just go straight out. But it's still pretty bad, especially in peak hours. Milligan Street is absolutely packed, so I don't really think it's that great of an idea. And you can see here, 30, 31 to Perth Passport. But then this new service disruption sticker for the Christmas pageant doesn't even mention it. But okay. Um, so yeah, that's just straight up there. So that's the Mill Street stop. And then after that, it just goes straight up onto Milligan Street, which is a right turn here. And you can see on the other side of the road as well, same thing over here. Take a look at this stop quickly. Which is so funny to have this here now. It's the only other two routes stopping here that are not the cat. To Curtin University bus station and to Salter Point. So random. But at least you can get to the zoo from here now. Um, but yeah. That's that. Now I'm going to have someone filming on the bus. Biscuit in the sea. 
he's about to come up on the 30 and then down on the 31 so you can see the new path straight from Elizabeth Key to Milligan Street from the bus which that is now the only route to do that as before only 910 went on Milligan Street and that does not go to Elizabeth Key well I'm just gonna film it up from Milligan Street just like we did when I filmed the last 30 and 31 on William Street well just the last 30 I think or was it yeah 30 I think um, from the outside as well so let's just do that Yep, so here it is now coming up St. George's Terrace. This is actually pretty weird to see that here now. I'm very not used to this. Uh, 30 going westbound along St. George's Terrace. Just stopped at the Mill Street stop right there. Someone actually using it. I'm not sure. Really weird. Yeah, yeah, someone actually used it. Wow. Cool. And now it'll come up here to the traffic light for Milligan Street. So it has to quickly go to the right lane, which could be pretty bad when there's traffic. Thirteen eighty-three here, already turning in onto Milligan Street. There it is. Thirteen eighty-three. stopping at the Milligan Street stop right in the middle here these are new I haven't even seen them myself oh no no one got off okay he'll just continue and straight down into the bus park And now we can look here at these poles, again, middle of Milligan Street, to Curtin University bus station, to Salter Point, and to Fremantle Station for 910, which has always been here. And here they actually did include it, due to Christmas pageant commencing Terminator and Elizabeth Key for 3031. As you can see, 20th of November up there. Yep. Cool. And we can check out the stop on the other side of the road. This is quite a random stop. There's actually nothing here. Empty land. All just a Perth passport, of course. And yeah, there's these things on here, but it's literally one stop. Let me just show you, see? Perth passport. Yeah. Um, pretty crazy. Five minutes, that's so fake. It's literally down there. Using the King Street entrance instead of the tunnel in the median of Wellington Street like those routes did before so yeah this stuff's pretty useless unless you're going to any nearby restaurant or such like Justin sometimes does but otherwise there's not really much purpose of this stop so it's over 60 minutes for 910 so yeah that's why well now we're just gonna wait 10 minutes here to film the 31 coming back up in the other direction that's a 910 there actually, just missed it, 3425, very nude, but I just missed it come through. What the hell is a red cat turning up here? Bro, what? Oh, the road's closed. Already Christmas pageant deviations, because they're putting a lot of stuff up on that road. Okay, that's cool, we can film a red cat deviation as well. I just missed that 3425, unfortunately, but that's still not the newest bus though. 
There it goes. This is pretty weird. 2634 Red Cat coming up Milligan Street. And turning back into the normal path. Okay, here we go. Another Red Cat now. Future Bus Cat. 2144. And uh, 2184 actually just drove down over there. You can see it in the distance. Um, with 362 on the desto, which is pretty funny to see 362 like in the middle of the city. That's just because it's probably going to the busport to start the route down there. Again, I just missed it coming through, but that but it just already put the desto on while driving down Milligan. Which yeah, and these buses of course do drive down here to get to the busport when they need to, but in service only three buses. Now we should have the same bus 1383 coming up on the 31 right now and we'll watch it come through. Yep, Milligan Murray, and here it comes up right now to Salter Point. And passing Milligan Street stop. You should have another person capturing it down on St. George's, so that's all good.